Speaking of these, make sure you have these. Make sure you have different style of gloves for different types of situations. Some that are maybe fireproof, some that maybe have, you know, the hard backing on the back. So if you're chopping, sawing something along that lines, you know, you're protected. All right. Just your basic, you know, you could have your carpenter gloves where you have a few fingers free if you're just doing some basic work and things. But you want to make sure that you protect. These are very important. All right. <clears throat> Moving on down the line. Let's talk about trash bags. You can buy these carpenter bags. You can get them between three to six mil. All right. The thicker, the better. Three mil will work just fine. You can build shelters with this. You can use these to cover windows. Um, you can use these for just about anything. And they come in handy. You always want to make sure that you have some of these carpenter trash bags. And you, the thicker, the better. The six mil are very hard to find and are very expensive. Three mil will work, but if you can afford the six, go with it. All right, <clears throat> moving down that same type of line with a shelter or that type of stuff, tarps are going to be your next best thing that you want to make sure that you have. And here's the reason why, folks, okay? After a storm comes through or something, you may have to put up a tarp over a window. If you didn't have hurricane shutters, you may have to patch your roof and until the roofer can come and replace your roof because you have a hole or it's leaking and everything else. So you want to make sure that you have tarps because once the storm goes through and the storm is gone, the first thing that's going to go is tarps because everybody else is going to be in the same situation as you and you're going to be needing to plug a hole, a window, or whatever else it may be. This way here, you can take care of it yourself. You already have your product. You don't have to worry about it. Along that line, you're probably gonna need nails, screws, your basic toolkit, all right? You need a screw gun with screws. You also need extra batteries for that. You need hammer, nails, uh, extra piece of plywood, Probably wouldn't hurt that you can cut down and use it in case you just need to do one little window or maybe you need to do the whole window. You want pliers, you want different types of, I'd have several different sizes, wrenches, your Phillips and straight head screwdrivers and you should be pretty much good to go. You kind of can cover the basics on that. And this way here, you have at least a small little kit that is ready to go when you need it, all right? Now, speaking along the lines of having a tool kit or something, you may want to take and get yourself a firebox, a waterproof firebox. Now, you say survival preparedness for beginners. Why do I want to get one of these? All right, for one, you can store all your important papers, all your um, medical information, everything else, you put it in here and it's fireproof, it's waterproof, you don't have to worry about it. If you have to leave on a moment's notice, it is ready to go when you are. It has a handle right here, just make sure you have the keys with you or, well, you're not getting in it. And you wanna make sure that you store all the different types of things. You know, you could put some pictures in here, jewelry. One thing that I would suggest doing, I would buy a external hard drive for your computer system and if you have a home computer, not like a laptop that you can take with you, buy one of those. This way you can back everything up on that. You put that bad boy in here. And this way here, no matter where you go, if you have to access your insurance information, your health information and all this kind of stuff, you can whip that out, plug it into any computer and access that information in an emergency type situation. If you need proof of different things. You also want to make sure that you do have copies of anything that has to do with any of your animals. You will need proof if you're going to go to a shelter that your animal has had its shots and all that kind of stuff and everything is up to date with your animal and that your animal is registered with your local town. So you want to make sure that you have that information, have them email it to you so maybe you can access it through your phone, but also have copies of it stored inside of your firebox. 